Hello and welcome back to another episode of EVTV. I'm your anchor, Brian Baxter. And I'm your co-anchor, Nate Malloy. The girls' mountain biking team, The Cycle Effect, took full advantage of the warm weather of Utah to hit the trails in Moab. For more, we go to Natalie Marner. The Cycle Effect is a local women's bicycling club that is operated out of Eagle County. During the break, they went to Moab to train for their upcoming season. Even though the Cycle Effect is training for competition, they have a more important overall goal. Um, the ultimate purpose is to empower um, young women through mountain biking, um, and then also just teach them life skills, uh, help them understand perseverance, um, to not give up when things are really hard, and um, help build a strong community and also give girls the opportunity to uh, continue with, with education. I started because I, I love mountain biking. Um, I wanted to help empower these girls, help them understand the importance of not only just learning how to, how to do a pretty challenging sport, but um, fitness, um, health, wellness. Um, just kind of wanted to share my love for, for that. Saray Gonzalez, a senior here at Eagle Valley High School, was more than willing to share how the cycle effect has empowered her. Favorite part is being able to mountain bike and being able to be part of a team and interact with other people. It's something that anybody can do and it doesn't matter like your skill level that you can always get better and that's why I did it. <laughs> the cycle effect's mission is empowering young women through mountain biking to achieve brighter futures and build stronger communities. I hope that each girl takes away um, Friendship, strength, empowerment, um, perseverance, um, just being able to create those lifelong relationships and learn about those different life skills that, that help them excel. If you're interested or have any questions, you can log on to their website at thecycleeffect.org. If you want to apply, click on the green application button. This has been Natalie Marner. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Natalie. Mental health has always been a problem, and not just in this valley. Most people know a bit about the effects, but most don't know about the resources provided and the steps to take. For more, we go to Safira Clearman and Alyssa Holderness. According to the National Alliance for Mental Illness, one in five students have reported struggling with their mental health. It's important to understand what mental health is because it impacts so many aspects of our lives. Mental health is just a way of making sure that you're able to interact um, in, a healthy and, in a healthy and productive way you know, with friends, family, work, school, and society in general. Mental health is everything. Mental health, it, it, it determines whether you're successful, it determines whether you fail, it determines how you handle adversity, how you process problems, how you process, it is literally everything. It makes sure students have access to support the mental health. The school offers a variety of resources. If you need help at school, starting with your school counselor is going to be the best place because they know all of the resources in the Valley and we can connect you with something to help. We have community mental health agencies, um, you know, Mind Springs Health. Uh, we have, uh, there's like a barrage of nonprofit organizations like Bright Future Foundation, Samaritan Counseling Center, um, and then there's also private therapists. Uh, you can also talk to uh, a trusted uh, adult, you know, um, you know, teachers, uh, teachers, counselors, etc. And for the times when you don't have access to school resources, here are strategies for self-care. Yoga, meditation, any kind of mindful breathing. It doesn't have to be specific meditation. Eating healthy sleeping. Teenagers need nine hours and 45 minutes of sleep a night on average. Eagle County School District website has a list of mental health and crisis resources for students and families in need. Additionally, they have partnered with Speak Up Reach Out to offer signs of suicide prevention sessions at high schools and middle schools up and down the valley to empower parents with information on how they can help and recognize their students' mental health needs too. There are people in our school and in our community who are here to support us. Our mental health will change, but by using our resources, they can help us. You don't have to go through it alone, you know? Like for everybody that I see, you know, I talk to people all day, every day. And a lot of people just feel like they're alone and that they have to go through life alone or they, they feel isolated. 
And when we look at it, you know, who are people who would care about you? Always, there's at least one or two people in there. This has been Alyssa and Safira. Back, Back to you in the studio. That wraps up our episode today. Make sure to join us next week for another episode of EVTV. EVTV.